briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2004, the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania heard the case of Vernon Township Volunteer Fire Department, Inc. v. Connor, which centered around the enforceability of restrictions on land use and the responsibility of property owners to be aware of recorded restrictions in the chain of title. The fire department had purchased land in the Culbertson subdivision of Vernon Township with the intention of constructing a building where they could hold events and sell alcohol. However, a restrictive covenant signed by all property owners in the subdivision in May 1946 prohibited the sale of alcohol on any of the land within the area. The fire department argued that the restriction was no longer applicable due to changes in the neighborhood, but the Court of Common Pleas of Crawford County sided with the property owners, ruling that the covenant was still valid. The fire department appealed the decision, and a higher court agreed with their argument, finding that the rule was no longer crucial due to neighborhood changes. The case was then sent back to the trial court for further examination. The trial court was tasked with reassessing whether the fire department was bound by the covenant, and if it had become irrelevant due to the changes in the neighborhood. Additionally, the court considered whether the landowners were unable to enforce the covenant because they had waited too long to take action. Ultimately, the case established that restrictive covenants on land use are legally enforceable, and property owners are responsible for knowing about recorded restrictions in the chain of title. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.